tous les jours, Sou retrouve Jürgen Klopp en rentrant chez elle. Pas la version d'un mètre 91 en chair et en os, mais une autre, en briques, un poil plus grande. Ces murals, des fresques recouvrant tout ou partie d'un mur d'une maison, fleurissent tout autour d'Anfield. Jordan Henderson, Trent Alexander-Arnold, Steven Gerrard et une foule de légendes du club sont représentées. Et Sou n'est que l'une des nombreux propriétaires à avoir offert sa maison comme toile. En faisant confiance à une société spécialisée, la bien nommée Mur Walls. And then, as soon as you do one, it's like when you get your first tattoo, people then start going more and more. It's a bit like that. So uh, people are asking us all the time, can you do my house, can you do this? Can you do this person, this person deserves one. And, and with Liverpool especially, the list goes on for legends. I mean, there's not enough walls to paint everyone. It's just constant, it's constant. It's one after the next, after the next. Do you ever get time to go home? <laughs> do you know what? No, <laughs> no. We joke, we say that where I actually live is my second home. We're always in Liverpool. You know, we've got the same shops in every single city centre around the UK, so it's up to these more community-driven uh, areas to, to differentiate themselves from other places in the UK, and I think this is perfect, so... Tendance née il y a quelques années en surfant sur la démocratisation du street art à laquelle toute l'Angleterre a succombé. Même Steven Gerrard a laissé entrer les artistes de Murwoods chez lui. Londres, Manchester, Leeds, Brighton, toutes les villes et tous les clubs de première ligue réclament des fresques. A mural is a direct way of celebrating who you are in a language everyone understands. And I think the good, good thing about murals is it appeals to fans of all ages. But there's not many football clubs that have residents living so close to the ground. But uh, it's definitely growing. I mean, so they're all growing, and I, I see that lots more communities are going to have it done. We're working with lots of football clubs, and football clubs want to have it on their stadiums, not alone just on the residents around it. Liverpool n'a pas ce problème. Encerclé de lotissements, Anfield est le terrain de jeu idéal pour la prolifération des murals. Il y a quelques semaines, murals en finissaient deux. L'une sur John Barnes, l'autre sur Phil Neal et Yann Callahan. Trois anciens joueurs cumulant près de 2000 matchs sous le maillot de Liverpool. As a Liverpool fan, right, to basically show we support the old team uh, of the days of the 80s and the 70s, uh, and that Liverpool Football Club is basically our life. I know it sounds silly. <laughs> Um, so John Barnes, when I was growing up in Liverpool as a, as a child, he was uh, probably the best footballer in the world at that time. Uh, and we've really appreciated the work that he's done as regards his fight against racism uh, since he's finished his playing career. Uh, so he, there seemed like no better person to, to, to adorn the wall. Everyone will tweet about it, start taking photos. It's a real statement that you are part of their community and they love that. that You're not just in this sort of stadium that's not connected to where they live. Après chaque réalisation, Murwalls organise un événement pour révéler sa nouvelle création au public. Un hommage devant quelques dizaines d'admirateurs. Toujours un moment chargé en émotions. What do you think? Fantastic. Yeah, I think that's lovely. Yeah, it's lovely. It's the artist here. Where? There's one of them here. Hey, thank you. Wow. Absolutely. And there's the other one there. Hey, wow. I've got to say, thank you. Well, I don't, I, don't, I don't know. I suppose it's lovely that it's not far from Anfield, which, you know, I spent most of my career uh, at Anfield. So it's just lovely that, you know, people do sort of pass here, you know, going to the game. So it's nice to be always be remembered. We very much appreciate, you know, the guys who are doing these murals for us. And it gives us, who, who are here today, that... We're here for the people. And Bill Shankly and Bob Paisley and people like that of the past always said it's for the people that you're doing it for. And that's exactly why, why we're here today. Uh, I hope the families and everybody else just remember us just to say it's a wonderful thank you.
from me and Ian this morning to say thank you so, so much. This beautiful city that brought in the Beatles uh, of everything. Is it? Don't forget me, OK? Yeah. Don't forget me, OK? If you can mention my name, that would be very good, OK? Yeah. There's Ian Callahan now. <laughs> Chambrage et sourire sont souvent au rendez-vous des retrouvailles entre anciens Reds, comme celle entre John Barnes et un de ses coéquipiers, Stan Collymore. Second. How are you? Stan, look at you, mate. Congratulations. Oh, no, I'm trying. Get fat like all of us. <laughs> <laughs> Good to see you. How are you? Are you doing, Mark? You okay? Is this you? This is ours, yeah. Happy? Very happy. Oh, there you go. I'm young. What does it mean to get a a mural in the city of Liverpool. This is one of the best honours I've received. Obviously, you know, you talk about Player of the Year and whatever else I've won, because this is a reflection of how Liverpool Football Club and its players has a, has a relationship with the community. I was very jealous as I used to walk around and see Russia and seen other ones on the side of, side of houses down there, and I thought, wouldn't it be great if I could have one? So when they phoned me and said they, they, they managed to get a little house, uh, I was delighted. Hey, why do you think Liverpool has embraced this art so much? And not just Liverpool. A particular area in Liverpool, because of course, if you look at the city centre in Liverpool, whereby you have lots of multi-million pound buildings and lovely great houses, and you know, you look how, how much money's been spent in the city. But this is an area which isn't the most salubrious of areas. But this is where it started. This area needs to be recognised. Des œuvres de street art garnissent les rues du monde entier. Cet engouement pour cet art a largement bénéficié aux murals, loin de la réputation controversée du graffiti. Street art has completely changed the perception of, of graffiti and street art now has become a recognised and accepted form of art and probably the most popular form of art globally at the moment. Other countries have been doing it for many years. For years, people have been doing statues to, to pay tribute to people, but statues are very expensive and timely. What we are able to do here is to create things a lot quicker and more affordable. Passage obligé des fans les jours de match, une visite guidée est même organisée pour voir toutes les œuvres. Mais ces fresques n'échappent pas aux rivalités entre supporters, notamment à Manchester. But not only that, it's been defaced four times. Somebody threw paint on it, and I phoned me all while straight away, and they came straight away and fixed it. But I've now got a, a clear film on it now, so that if they deface it, I can just wash it off. And we're doing our best now in terms of security measures, working together with the councils and the residents to make sure that this is limited, even with the, the police as well who are so proud of these legacies that they want to make sure that there's no criminal damage being done to them and they're being appreciated in the right way. La vague mural submerge l'Angleterre, l'Italie, l'Espagne ou l'Argentine sont touchés également en attendant la France. <laughs>